Let's face it, the cost of baby products can really start to add up and saving a little bit of money here and there is a good thing. And what better way to save that money than with the pack and plays? They generally hold up pretty well over time and you can usually find them at great discounts. Sometimes they're handed down to you from family members. The only real issue with the pack and play is that things just happen in there. Kids make messes, if you know what I mean. They can be pretty filthy. So the real question is how to get them clean. As you can see, that was the dilemma before me with these two pack and plays that I had picked up and one had been actually handed down to me for my brand new grandbaby and we really needed to get this figured out quickly because she was here and needed a place to sleep in my house. Unfortunately it is the middle of winter here and so I did not have the option to take these outside to spray them down with a hose. I wasn't able to put them out in the sun to dry so I really needed to figure out a way to do this inside my house. I felt pretty comfortable that the base of each pack and play was made of materials that could be soaked and easily dried without any issues. The pad, however, was a different situation. It appeared, thanks to this little hole in the corner, I could see that it was like a particle board and not removable, so I really could not put that in the tub for soaking. Particle board, if it gets wet, just soaks up that water and warps and falls apart. So we really needed to come up with a different solution to clean these very dirty and smelly pads. I'll be honest here, I did not have a lot of time to think about the products that I was going to use on this. The baby was here and needed a clean bed to sleep in, so I used the products that I had right on hand in my house and they worked great. So. I don't really know that it matters what you use for the cleaning. Fill your tub with hot, hot water and then let your pack and play just soak in the detergent for a good long time. I don't think I timed this, but it was at least an hour that these soaked. And then while the bases soaked in the tub, I went to work on the pads. My goal was to saturate the top cushioned part of the pad as much as possible, scrub it down quickly, and then get the water off before it hit too much of that particle board and started to warp it. It's a little bit challenging to do. You have to work quickly. The spray bottle I used was filled with the same exact detergents that I used inside the bathtub. I just put it into a bottle and started spraying the pad. And then once I felt like the surface of the pad was pretty clean, I would use a cup to just rinse off the detergents right down into the bathtub. This was a little messy and challenging, so just be prepared with a towel. And then as soon as I felt like it was rinsed, I took that towel and dried it as quickly as I could. And then I just repeated that whole process for the second pack and play pad. Saturate. Scrub. rinse, work really fast, and dry, dry, dry as fast as possible. And once the pads were fully towel dried, I set them in front of fans on their sides and this completed their drying process really quickly. The whole method worked very well. And then I went back to the bases that had been soaking in the tub and I gave them a nice scrub down as well. I could already see that quite a lot of dirt and grime had already come off in the water and so I went ahead, pulled them out, and drained down the very dirty, disgusting water. I made sure all the dirt and grime went down the drain and then I filled the tub with clean, fresh, detergent-free water and let the bases sit in that and kind of rinse off all the detergent for about another 30 minutes. I did agitate them around with my hands to make sure it all came off. And then I put them in front of fans as well and they took maybe about a 24-hour time to dry. So before the cleaning, there was a lot of yellowing and stain staining and then afterwards everything was white and bright. I did repeat the process with the pads twice. Mm -hmm. 
The netting on the sides was completely clean. No more dirt, no more grime, no more smells. It was perfectly clean. So there you have it. I have two fresh, clean, perfectly good used pack and plays for my new adorable sweet grandbaby to sleep over. They were a little gross and stinky, let's face it. I was a little bit scared when I opened them up and saw the condition they were in, but I'm so glad I was able to revive these and they're perfectly fine now. So don't pass up that deal on a pack and play if you're out at a garage sale or you have a kind family member who has given you their hand-me-downs. Take it and revive it and use it. As always, I'm so glad you came to my channel, Uniquely Ursula. I hope you'll check out some of my other DIY and inspirational videos. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!